him. Yeah, there's a bunch of yeah, percentage stars right there. Tracking, and Argus has this much of a oh, wait. Uh, octopus. Do that octopus. Still keep going. Yeah. So I was just conferring with Bob. We think um, this wall might be one of the most interesting to look at, especially in terms of organisms and whatnot. So we're going to head up the wall for a ways, and then we'll cut over. Vertically, due north? Yes. OK. Yeah, let's keep the wall in view. I'd like to look around at the organism so okay. nice and slow so we could do some zooms. Um, oh nice yeah, sponge. Grenaladone. Another octopus. This wall's full of them. Yep. Oh, it's got eggs. There's eggs oh, underneath wow. it. That's yeah. the female oh. tending eggs. Cool. I'm sure she's not pleased we're looking at her then. <laughs> How long does it take for them to hatch or spawn? Or I think it can be a couple of months. Um, and usually oh the wow. female octopus die afterwards because really? they don't feed for the entire time that they oh take care gosh. of the eggs. Wow. Uh, Lisa Levin has chimed in that uh, the octopus can tend eggs for up to three or four years. Oh. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> There's no. a, wow. bunch a bunch of octopuses. Of There's more. Yeah. <laughs> Let's take a zoom on that when we get set up for it. Even octopus get goosebumps, I guess. <laughs> they're all nesting. Yep. Oh yeah, they all have eggs under there. Look, there's the one that's got that one's got eggs as well. She doesn't look too happy. <laughs> doesn't want us around. <laughs> yeah. Evil stare. For everyone just tuning in, we are currently located forty two miles west of Trinidad, California. The ROVs are exploring Trinidad Canyon. And our deepest dive yet, a depth of about um, 2,120 meters. Oh, there's a That's lovely hanging that garden. That is a very um, yeah, diverse wall. Look at all that sponge. Yeah, we could zoom on this. Yeah. Let's take some time to look at this little outcrop if we can. Sure. Are these glass sponges? Oh, good eye. Um, my guess is that these are glass sponges, but um, this is a species I'm f unfamiliar with. I am trying to look it up right now. That's a nice shot, Will. That's yeah. really beautiful. Yeah, look at all that. It's amazing to see the verticalness and oh, and two more octopi. Yeah. That's really cool. It's another one down there at the bottom. Yeah, yeah. one hiding. Oh, can we zoom in on that white anemone right between the octopi? Yes. Exactly. Oh, oh, I like that anemone a lot. That's, that's, no. cool. that's, that's a beautiful good. shot. That looks that's like a, a nice Christmas ornament. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it looks that's like a, a nice Christmas one. card. This is beautiful. Looks like a calillomorph anemone on one of the pictures I have, but the picture I have is from the side and not dead on. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Framed Perfect. up perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> How do they like each other uh, if they're, what do you call it, a nest? If they're that close to each other? Uh, my guess is that the habitat around here is so limited that they're just going to put up with one another. They seem to be getting along just fine. Mutual agreement to not bother the other one? Yeah, it's a mutual non-destruction pact. <laughs> it's got to be a lonely three to four years. You never know. I guess not in this case. I have never in all of my years on, the, on these ships seen this many octopuses in one place. Me neither. Yeah. Never. <laughs> Yeah, so is the plan to zigzag up this wall face? It is. We're going to keep zigzagging up the wall for... Um, that was me. Sorry. No problem. Maybe another 70, 80 meters, and then head to the northeast. My question of how deep does the canyon go? When we first landed, were we at the very base of the canyon, or does it sort of keep going down from there? It keeps going down. Uh, I actually didn't see where the... The deepest depth is, but I know 2,400 meters and maybe even deeper than that. Uh, but we started around 2,000. Oh, there's eggs. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's fantastic. Wow. Nice. Sorry to cut you off, Nicole. I got excited. No, that's okay. <laughs> Zoom in there, Carl. She's hiding those eggs pretty well. Oh, yeah. but you can see them yep. in there. Yeah, that's fantastic. Three to four years. Because yep. what does she do for food? She just they manages to reach don't out. Eat. They don't eat. Uh, they, it's lethal. Uh, they, yeah. yeah, they die after they reproduce. Um, so they, they'll guard the eggs for three to four years till they hatch, and then they die. 
kind of good. Does that uh, length of time vary depending on the species of octopus? Yes, because I think it's shorter for like giant Pacific. Oh, don't want to worry. What, cephalopod week? Yeah, June 17th to the 24th. No kidding, like shark week? <laughs> <laughs> Way better than shark week. <laughs> There's a little black patch on the sediment, and it's actually a, a little octopus. Oh. To the With right. the little two the eyes? Right. Yeah. Yep. To the right. Oh, yeah, there he is. Yeah. He's moving He's a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, Oh, good oh, eye. Look at him. <laughs> oh, look at him. How long nice. do male octopus live? Uh, they can live a little longer than the females. Um, I don't know for this species. For giant Pacifics, the females, it's like usually three to four years. Uh, um, yeah. For uh, the males, it can be up to seven. You guys are killing it for cephalopod week.